Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody, and, um, you know, I just got to thinking, um, I made a tier, I made a tier list about, uh, metal music, I made a tier list about fighting games, um, I think I made various, I think I made, uh, various other tier lists as well, I don't think I've ever made one about, um, uh, about RPGs of all things. So, but yeah, I just went on here on a whim. Um, RPGs, over 50. Um, rank your favorite RPGs. I grouped some RPGs, Final Fantasy together because there are so many editions. Yup, yup. That makes it a hell of a lot easier because I haven't, I haven't, I haven't exactly played every single Final Fantasy game out there, so. And I'm sure a lot of other people are like that as well. So, but, um, but yeah, I just thought I'd go ahead and uh, do an RPG tier list. And then, the ranking. And I need to do something real quick. I'll just leave it. But um, I'm sorry if it gets too noisy in the background. But I have the air conditioner going. Just I'm trying to keep the weather from shoot or weather. I'm trying to keep my apartment from shooting up to 80 degrees. So. I'm going to kind of need to keep it on. Uh, but otherwise, this top one here, if I've never heard of it, um, it goes up here. If I've if I've heard of it or seen it but never actually played it, then it also goes up here. Uh, fucking S tier, this is top tier right here. So, all my biggest favorites come up, go up here. Uh, good, solid game. Uh, kind of, you kind of self-explanatory. The... They're great to play, but not great enough to warrant being an S tier, but, you know, still good to play nonetheless. They go here. Um, they got some games that are like, they're they're actually fucking S tier, but there's some part of that game, usually usually it's like a really, a really bad ass, some, or something really bad about that game really drags it down and keeps it from being here. Um, and then we have, uh, it's all right, I... There's better games out there. I guess, um... Okay, there's a certain way I wanted to say this. I guess, um... Uh, yellow, or fucking S tier, but is kind of part this. And part the bottom. So, th these games here are going to be both S, S tier, and ass tier. So, I think that's where they go. Then you have the, uh... Kind of the kind of the Ritalin category, just kind of flat line, and you know, just it's all right. I definitely not the worst, but I definitely played a lot better. And then we have down here, this game is ass. So, angry video game nerd category down here. So, and then um, like I usually do, um, like I do on my other tier list, I'm gonna have some music going in the background. Um, this is going to be, I think it's a, a three-album playlist. Uh, Depressive Silence, uh, their second album. I can't remember their, uh, I can't remember their next albums. Or I can't remember the next albums I have in this playlist. Um, but they're, they're fairly new Dungeon Synth albums, so. But, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill a couple windows first. It's not as cluttered. Okay. So, but yeah, the top category, never heard of it. It's gonna fill up quick, and it's probably gonna be way bigger than everything in the rest of these tiers here combined. Um, Alpha Protocol, never heard of it. Arcanum, I've seen it seen it, or I've seen the cover, but I've never actually played it. Elder Scrolls Arena, never heard of it. Asheron's Call, only heard the name. Baldur's Gate, good solid game. Um, I mean, it's an all-time classic, but it's also one of those... I, um, I cheated the fuck out of this game. Like, uh, there's a bunch of cheats and stuff. You can, you know, you can hack in items and whatnot. Um, 
I'll go ahead and grab Baldur's Gate, the same thing. It, uh, but, uh, I guess these two here, they, they kind of hover between good solid game and fucking S tier butt. But, uh, um, the, the cheats that I use for Baldur's Gate, they're of my own choosing. I do them of my own volition. Um, I could play the game with Autumn, and it is playable, and it still is a good game. These are good games with Autumn, without the cheats, but again, it's a personal preference thing. So, so yeah, you, I mean, and these are, I mean, these are fucking all-time classics right here. They're not my favorites. They're not my all-time favorites, but they're good enough to be solid games. Um, Bastion, same thing. Although, I, I guess you could call yeah, I suppose you could call it an ARPG. I just, I keep forgetting about that. But, um, when, when playing this, it doesn't really feel like a, like an actual RPG, at least not compared to something like Baldur's Gate. It's more action-oriented, but like I said, a ARPG, action RPG, so. But any game, anyway, definitely one of my faves right here, especially the music. So, it... So yeah, this is one of those where everything about the game is great. I mean, even the music's good, gameplay's good, graphics are good, you know, art is good. Whereas, you know, like, the Baldur's Gate series, you know, I, I mean, I love the uh, the character creation music, but otherwise the rest of the music goes whatever out there, but you, you kind of get the idea. You know, gameplay's great and classic, but music and the art... <laughs> Uh, Bloodborne. Heard it. I've seen the speed. I watched part of a speed run on it, but I never actually played it. Oh, and it's something else. Something else too. These bottom tiers here. These are for games that I've actually played. I gotta actually play them in order for them to be actually be ranked. If I haven't played them, then they're to the top. They go. Uh, Borderlands. Heard of the name, I probably saw a gameplay video here and there, but never played it myself, so up they go. Castlevania. Um whatever that is. Orchestra of orgasms or something. I can't really read it. Something of shadow. Well, I'm uh I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Is that an Elder Scrolls game? The name sounds familiar, but I... Yeah, but I've never never seen it. Darkest Dungeon. Fucking S tier. My all-time favorite uh, RPG right here. I liked it immediately when I started playing it, but uh, like some of, my, some of my greatest favorites, I burnt myself out on this game big time. Plus, I used to... Uh, I think I used to... I wouldn't really call it a cheat, per se, as much as a kind of a kind of a game exploit. You can uh, go in and there's like a you can go into the game files and there's like actually a a configuration uh, a configuration file. It's like it's just Notepad. You can just go in there and type down like how many character slots each person has, that kind of thing. I think I doubled it. Just I don't like inventory nightmare puzzles. I already had to deal with enough with Diablo too. More on that later, so yeah. But it, it, but like I said, I think I I burnt myself off from playing this game so much. Uh, Destiny. Heard it. I probably saw a little bit of gameplay videos here and there, but never played it. Detroit. Never heard of it. Uh, Deus Ex. I think I might have watched a speed run on one of the game on one of the versions, but I've never actually played it. Um, Invisible War. Never heard of it. Here we go. I have the same problems in all my other, uh, on my, all, on my other tier lists. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot down here that I've never played, but 
I can't, um, I don't, you can't just, uh, outright delete, delete entries down here in the bottom. So, and I don't, and I want to, I want to speak, I want to speak to him, or let me rephrase it. I want to at least speak to him, even the one, you know, even these ones here that I haven't played. I at least want to mention it. You know, some people would, uh, when they make these tier lists, they'll, uh, they'll preset it. They'll, they'll yank out all the games that they never played so that the, all that's down at the bottom are games they've actually played. I don't do that. It just doesn't feel right. So, like I said, so like I said, I need to at least speak to the ones that I've never played. So, that being said, Deus Ex. Never played it. Never played it. Diablo 2. Um, kind of the same thing. Uh, just like Baldur's Gate, I had to use uh, cheats for this one. I had to use um, I had to use a character editor. So, but I mean, you, I mean, you gotta give it up though. It's a fuck. I mean, it's a fucking classic. So, and then once again, like Baldur's Gate, I could have played. I could have played the game without it, but in my mind, or at least to me, it would have been unbearable. Just leveling up is slow. Um, you know. Getting the items, you know, getting the items is slow. Way too much RNG in this game. So, but again, that's just a personal opinion, though. So, uh, Diablo 3. I'm going to go ahead and put here, but, uh, it probably has, that I can think of at the moment, my all time favorite, uh, leveling system. Yo. And I think, um, I want to say it's revolutionary too. As far as I know, it's the only game I can think of where you only have to do the campaign once. And, um, no, wait, wait, wait. Final Fantasy XIV is like that too. You only got to do the campaign once. There's other games, other, excuse me, there's other RPG games out there where if you want to create a new character, you got to do the story mode all over again. So, no thank you on that. Diablo 3 was one of those where you didn't have to. You only got to do the campaign once. And there's like this really cool leveling system. Uh, it's like a catch-up. Sort of kind of like a catch-up mechanic. Uh, you want to, you know, you want to start with another character. Um, all the items that drop will be equipable by that character. And the it had level scaling. The monsters would level up with you. So it wasn't like, say, World of Warcraft, where you want to create another character, got to start over, but and it gets to a point where you can grossly out-level the content that you're running. So, but not in D3. D3, monsters level up with you. So it's always going to be a challenge, and, and you're, you, can, you can get your other characters to the end game just like that. Um, trying to think, but yeah, that that's but but yeah. Um, D three gets a lot of hate for the story mode or for the story, which I didn't get into either. I didn't like the fact that uh they made a uh, Diablo look like a freaking tranny. I mean, I like the original Diablo, big you know, big, bulky, and really scary, satanic looking, not sexy. So huge turn off, but still good enough for it to be a good solid game. Um, I don't know. Wait, wait, I think, is that, is that what I think it is? <laughs> is that Diablo Immortal? <laughs> totally understandable why they'd hide most of that logo. Yeah, the seen it. It's a Diablo card game. I think that's what it is. They introed this at their convention, and it was it was followed by just stunned silence. So yeah, but uh, I like I said, I've seen it, never played it, so up it goes. Um, Diablo, same thing. It's a good, it's a freaking classic right here. Um, I play, I mostly played it on my uh, either PlayStation or PlayStation Two. I can't remember which one. But um, but just like uh, 
just like D2 in Baldur's Gate. I think I used a, I used a Game Shark on it for like infinite money. So again, it just, it makes it makes these kind of games less tedious. So, but again, you can't. I mean, it's a freaking classic, so it's gotta be up here. Uh, Divinity Original Sin. Played a little bit of it. There were probably some elements in there that would have made me say this game is ass. I can't remember what they were, but I'm gonna say it's all right. It just kind of hovers right around here. Um, Divinity, this one here, never played. Dragon Age, never played it. Dragon Age 2, never played it. EverQuest, um, I mean, EverQuest is a classic. But I never, I never played the game, so it goes. Fable, heard of it, never seen it. I just put all these fables up here. Uh, Fallout 2. All the Fallout's are gonna be going up there. I, I mean, I've heard about them. I might have seen some of them. I might have seen them, but never played them. Final Fantasy, same thing, and I think he's, he said it for uh, Final Fantasy, but really he should have done it for all the fallouts as well, group them all into one entry, but yeah, same thing, um, my main one is Final Fantasy 14, so yeah, again, you can't not, you, you, there's no, there's no way in hell I could put Final Fantasy uh, in any of the bottom ones, it's got to go up here. Grim Dawn, fucking S tier. Um, RPG wise, I believe it's uh, it's second only to Darkest Dungeon, especially the story. It just, it's uh, it's one of those that uh, it, it it was one of the few games that I could think of where I was actually looking forward to reading the to reading the text, looking forward to actually reading the story and stuff. Um. I think the one thing that killed it, one thing that killed it for me with this game was the fact that uh, my computer could just barely handle it. Um, I had a, my character was built for speed, like he was super fast, lots of attack speed, can go from point A to point B, just like that. So my computer had a hard time keeping up. So it, it's, Grim Dawn is more suited for higher-end computers. I mean, it ain't got to be a supercomputer, but it's got to be better than the one I got now. So, I'm going to take another drink. But yeah, like I said, as far as story goes, it's one of those instances where I think the story is so well done. I was actually looking forward to the next piece of lore. Like, kind of like, kind of like a lot of, a lot of RPGs out there, you know, you find, like, notes, uh, letters, you know, invoices, etc., you know, that kind of stuff. Again, this is probably the only game I can think of where I was actually looking forward to finding more of that stuff, because it's just, it's so well done. Anyway, moving along, Legend of Grimrock. This is the game that, um, it's a modern-day nod to Dungeon Master. Like the old, the old PC game, like in the 90s. This is like a modern day version of it. Um, I want to call it an actual knock, but with me, I only. It got to where I just wasn't into it anymore. So, when this compared to Dungeon Master, I would much rather play Dungeon Master. So, Grimrock kind of falls short, but to me, it's still good enough to be a good solid game. Icewind Dale. I actually never played this one. But it's a basically a continuation of Baldur's Gate. But like I said, I've never played this, so up it goes. Uh, Kingdom Come, never heard of it. Uh, Star Wars, only heard the name. Same thing here. Um, 
Mr. Billy Bob or whatever his name is, he should have done the same thing with uh, Mass Effect. Just condense all that down into one entry. But anyway, Mass Effect, I've only heard the name. solid. Um, I want to say it's kind of on the border between good solid and fucking S tier. But, um, I think the story, I think the story and stuff, it just, it wasn't as good as, as wasn't as good as Grim Dawn. So I think that's what, uh, brings it down to good solid. The some Eternity, I played it. Eh, it's okay. Ah, RuneScape. But I'm talking the, uh... I think, when I played it back in the mid-2000s... Yeah, it was... It, it consumed a lot of my time. And it, I enjoyed every minute of it. Plus, it is home to my all-time favorite character skill, Slayer. Uh, it's, um, you gotta go out and, you know, you're, you're, you're tasked to go out and kill a hundred bats, for example, and then once you kill a hundred bats, you, you go back to a Slayer Master and you get another task, which could be go kill 20 green dragons, but you got to travel a lot, and plus, um, that skill there, it was, it was such a hub for uh, all the other skills, because a lot of these Slayer tasks that you would be assigned to, um, the monsters that you had to kill dropped a lot of good stuff, and then if you got your Slayer level high enough, you could actually access certain dungeons that only only people with a, with a high enough Slayer level can enter. So, so yeah, really, really beautiful skill there, and I wish, uh, I almost want to say other other RPGs should do that, have a Slayer skill, but it'd be like trying to improve on perfection. So, so yeah, just that alone is enough to make RuneScape fucking guest here. Um, Shadowrun. Um, I only know the uh, Super Nintendo version. I don't... If it's also referenced to the tabletop version. I'm going to go ahead and put it in solid. But like I said, I only played the uh, Super Nintendo version. Which is, again, right up there. But it's it's the kind of cyberpunk that I, can, I, I, I actually like. I mean, there's other... I think I've seen other cyberpunk... Uh, stuff out there, for lack of a better word. Wasn't really into it that much. Shadowrun, however, I liked. But it's got both uh, cyberpunk and magic, so kind of a, a good combination of uh, yeah, kind of like uh, Ma Final Fantasy, Magitech. You know, kind of a, a fusion of magic and technology. Shadowrun did a damn good job of this. They got both magic and uh, technological stuff in there. Whereas uh, Final Fantasy is more medieval, Shadowrun is more modern. Uh, Skyrim, it's a legend, but believe it or not, I've never played it. System Shock, it, it's actually kind of a legendary game. It touched off the whole cyberpunk, cyberpunk stuff, kind of like what uh, Diablo did for the, for the RPGs, RPG world. Wait. Oh, that's just some shop too. Okay. Kinda got a little ahead of myself. This is the one I was talking about. This is the one that started it all as far as Cyberpunk goes. Um something legends. Never heard of that one. Never seen that one. 
Um, Torchlight 2? Um, it's alright. Um, gameplay, it's... I mean, the gameplay is there, it's playable, it, it can be fun. It just... the character's animation... Um, overall look, I just... It's not... not really there. Uh, Torchlight, never played that one. Planescape Torment, fucking S tier. Just, I mean, just on the story alone, and play, hell, just on the narration style. I mean, I mean, the story, I mean, this, the writing stuff, there's so many different writing styles in this game. Um, nothing to think about it. Yeah, this is gonna be a very hard one to call. Because, Because there really isn't there really isn't any any really bad elements in this game but um this game really does play like a visual novel than like an actual RPG game but like I said um story especially the writing styles it's fucking S tier but as far as uh everything else I mean, like I said it it plays more like a visual novel We'll just go ahead and put it up here instead. Um, Undertale. It's alright. Uh, Witcher. Uh, only heard the name. Never actually played it. So, I'll go on up. World of Warcraft. Walking S tier. Um, at least at the start. Well, back when the game was still, you know, fairly fresh and brand new, classic, Burning Crusade. Um, most people, most people would say the beginning of the end occurred during uh, Wrath of the Lich King. That was pretty much when it started. Um, I didn't start playing this game until, uh, until Cataclysm. That's like the fourth expansion. Like in the early to mid-2010s, that's when I started playing it. But it... But now, it got too popular, I mean, too popular, and then, it just, yeah, it, the toxicity, I, I gotta, I gotta look something up real quick, because I'm, I'm gonna need to kind of research this a little bit. It just, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like New York City. I mean, the pla that place has a population of 8 million, and they're all crammed into a small space. You know, lots of homeless people, you know, a whole lot of aggro, a lot, you know, a whole lot of aggressiveness going on over there. It's just so many people packed in like sardines. So, you know, a whole lot of toxicity going on. World of Warcraft is kind of like that. It... It got too popular for its own good, for lack of a better phrase. So, a lot of toxicity going on. The game's been going on too long. You know, and now there's too much competition out there. Too many, too many WoW clones. Too many alleged WoW killers. You know, there's... You know, so WoW's trying to keep up. You know, and then along with the overpopulation, like I just said, so... All this adds up to a, all it all adds up to an MMO that's pretty much ass now. So, um, no, we're almost at the end here. Okay, Zelda, never played it. Um, Dark Souls two, never played it. Dark Souls three, never played it. I don't. I don't know what that one is. Uh, Demon Souls, never heard of it. Uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, seen it, but never played it. But... Well, damn, that was quick. Oh, here, I can. I can go ahead and keep that on. But. Yeah, it, <laughs> just like I said, 
there's going to be a lot more games on here that I've never played than there are RPGs that I actually played. Well, he, yeah, he, he did a good job on condensing this. I've done a tier list where it's gone, it's gone over an hour. You know, I'm sitting here having a... I'm having to fill the top part here with, like, all these redundant games over and over and over and over that are never played. You know, I, I still kind of wish that he would, uh, he would have condensed down the fables, because I'm pretty sure they're all the same. I wish he would have condensed down all these fallouts, because I'm pretty sure they're all the same, too. The old Mass Effects, all these, uh, Elder Scrolls. Yeah, and surprisingly, there, there wasn't any uh, legitimately uh, terrible RPGs in here. I said the closest there was was probably World of Warcraft. So. But, alrighty, well, I guess that's going to do it for me. I was actually expecting this to go... I was actually expecting this to last at least an hour long, but no, only lasted about a half an hour. So, um, like I said a few moments ago, kind of a good job on hit on on this guy uh, putting this up, uh, setting this tier list up. You know, cleared up a lot of the redundancies, although I don't think he was a uh, hundred percent accurate on it. So, but there you have it. Um, there is my tier list, and. Unlike most other guys that do tier lists, I, more often than not, I get it right the first time. So, I have no need for me to, like, switch stuff around or anything like that. But, yeah, I've seen, uh, I've watched other people do tier lists, and that's what they do. It's like they're too indecisive. They'll put the tier list together, but then all of a sudden decide to go ahead and keep switching things around, up and down and all around and all that. You know, like, like, like I said, I get it right the first time. Alrighty, um, but thanks for thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.